so welcome back everybody welcome back to another epic red dead redemption live stream that's right everyone we are here live uh replaying back the whole reason this game became an absolute revolution in the gaming industry that's right i hope you guys will enjoy this live stream and enjoy this gameplay uh we're gonna be playing this uh, all the way through to the release of red dead redemption 2 on friday that's right everybody be sure to stick around uh for the rest of the week until we complete this story mode of the game uh we started off yesterday if you guys haven't checked out the video be sure to go check it out it's live right now over at twitch.tv and we'll be arriving shortly on youtube.com uh, so be sure to stick around and, and get on that when that arrives uh, also before we begin obviously i've got to do a massive shout out over at youtube.com please be sure to follow us over at twitch the channel is exactly the same as it is on youtube so be sure to head over there and give us a follow and obviously that way you know exactly when i'm going live over at twitch as well uh, now the other thing as well is obviously we can't start without saying massive uh, shout out to the sponsors as always a big shout out goes out to those over at cinch gaming cd keys and not forgetting those infamous people over at razor.com and also let's not forget let's not forget we got the t4 army merch people that's right the merchandise has dropped it's sick it's amazing it's beautiful grab yourself something awesome from the store before it's too late not forgetting the infamous g2a.com over at twitch.tv keeping it lit keeping it alive with the super late titles on the cheap and not forgetting g4g and streamlabs that's right people if you ever want to support the stream and you want to support me as a content creator then why don't you donate some of those hard earned money that's right g4g streamlabs is the place to do it links in the description as always my back is kind of hurting a little bit i don't know why but uh, that's enough talking time to play some game right spare the rod spoil the bandit oh this looks like a big one it's ah, gonna be a big one since you're here you want to make yourself useful not, not particularly. particularly no listen son i know you got a mission right now i need another gun why what's happening we've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers Last night, they went to a big place up Ooh. near Ridgewood. They burnt the place oh. down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Oh, that's some strong liquor, boy. Hey, wait up. They've got to be careful not to drink too much of that kerosene, you know. Hey, uh, what's up, Commander Root? Welcome back. Right, we've stopped rolling out, everybody. Let's go. We're rolling out. Oh, come on. Come on, John. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad <laughs> shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. That was quite an interesting mission. I actually died. Oh. Now look at what we have here. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Yes. We get to do a bit of an exploration. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Is it a good gun? Go. Where the fuck are they? Over here somewhere? What? What? What the fudge? What the fudge sticks? What the? Oh my! I don't know what just happened. What the hell just happened? Well, we're gonna have to cut this bit out, aren't we? Those vultures! Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Okay. Okay, Marston's gets off. Picks up a gun. Man. We can, we can kind of. Come on, quickly. Let's go. We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. Okay. Ridgewood Farm, everybody. Now, look at what we have here. More death, everybody. Man, more dead bodies. The fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Oh. Come on. Oh. Looks like we're going to make a move on. Trail leaps to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. I got a bad feeling about this. Split up and search the area. John, 
You check the buildings in the barn. No one here. No one here, Marshal. Join the Marshal. Okay. That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Come on, John. Shoot that door okay, open. Okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. Now we take a look at what we have here. Oh my god. Now isn't that pretty? That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, sweet mother of mercy. <laughs> please, please don't shoot me. Is it a predator? <laughs> it's a predator. <laughs> Some of my family is being kept hostage. It must be the predator. Predator. Damn. Damn, Daniel. You think I'm joking? Got him in the head. Okay, that's Looks all that's clear, seven. fellas. Let's check up on Everybody's the done. Okay, well, looks like we've done a good job, everybody. Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robber started chasing him down like wild Ooh. dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect Yeah, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Out up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's Damn. lives, people's homes. She got beat up, man. Beat Come up. On, they're gonna get away. Follow me. We can still catch them. Okay. Quickly. We gotta. We gotta. Come on. Right out. Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. I love that <laughs> accent. The hillbilly oh, shit. We used to run in a game oh, yeah. together. It was once like family. Eyes up. Did you see that? Oh. You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough yeah, to stop Bill. me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, <coughs> but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, oh, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Okay. You take cover. I got that gold revolver in GTA, dudes. John Marston, gentlemen, and I'm afraid you're dead. Yeah! Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> Norman Deke. Fuck. <laughs> I see you again, buddy. 
Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. What? Right. Well, that's a job well done, John. A job well done. Right. Let's go see Nigel because uh, he's a, a little bit close up. Come. We're riding through the west. We're gonna see Nigel. Yeah. Let's go and see Nigel. Who uh, we found uh, half dead. You shall not give false testimony except for profit. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh... <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At Armadillo! <laughs> at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston. I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. All right, let's go. Ridgewood Farm, everyone. Wow. Oh. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. Okay. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. showmanship gotcha. Go to West Dickens Show. Get into position. Hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs, <laughs> gather round, gather round. <laughs> Do you suffer from yes, rheumatism? Yes, I suffer from Bell, rheumatism. Acute, chronic, sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches. Backache, swelling, sprains, sore chest, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. Uh-oh. <clears throat> That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. 
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging okay. there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous... Should I miss on purpose? Possess. Let's miss on purpose, should we? L2 to draw your weapon. Shoot the skull at the porch. Come on! Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. <clears throat> if your eye is so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Hey, this will show. You're more crooked than a snake in a cat. Did I? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him! The tonic is coursing through his veins! You're go- <laughs> Normally, I don't fight animals. This is about to get ugly, get pal. Henry, believe your eyes. There it is. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this. So, this is the mission that you do to unlock Dead Eye, multiple targets. Oh. Watch out! Oh, it's just got interesting. You ain't leaving here alive. Once that I whip a, a, a bonus gun, you, uh. Oh, hey, marvelous shot, dear boy. Ooh. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty <laughs> for all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, no harm in trying one is that is it as easy as that? Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Well, I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. <laughs> Not the oh, likes of you, good. Mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend Seth. I, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Yeah. Right, okay, so what do we have here? Okay, S and B. Right, we'll head, we'll, we'll head to S, because it's on the way. 
Riding out west, everybody. Jump for your life. John Marston coming through, everybody. Let's hitch it up. Don't you go nowhere now, horsey. I gotta go see a man about a grave. Is he around the back? Guy is around here. He's digging up a grave. Uh, exhuming and other find something. I didn't get to read the last bit, sorry. Oh, what the hell is he doing? What the hell? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been My name's Bond. Pleasure. James Bond. I need your help, Seth. We oh. need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sounds like sure. fucking uh, our Lord of the Rings. Where's this Moses now? <laughs> He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Mm hmm. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. All righty then. Let's go and see Moses. Horses are over here. Uh, I know. I hitched mine. Right. So as you guys can tell, the whole point of the story is to is to get hold of Bill. But this is this is gonna it's gonna Ooh, there. it's gonna take us through so many different parts of the map. What's so important about this map? Nothing to get much. um to Just get to Bill. Unimaginable riches it's incredible. And such like a spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. There's no difference between night and day. Okay. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Okay. We gotta come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Okay. How am I gonna distract them? Oh, what the fuck just happened? The guy's totally glitched out. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Oh, okay. They're back in again. Oh, shit. Oh. Still the deputy's horse to become wanted. Okay, so. Uh... This is one god awful attack. Let's 
go. Go time, Marcin. Go. Turn to Seth. Twenty twenty dollar bounty on my ass for stealing the goddamn horse. Best we deal with this now, mister. Okay. Good job getting rid Thank of you. the clowns. It was my pleasure. Keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor. Oh my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me. Get that slippery bastard. I need him alive, though. Don't trust Seth. He's sick in the mind. Just leave me alone. God damn. This ain't none of your business. Come on. What's this got to do with you? God damn you. Hog tie. Since lying to you, mister. Doesn't really matter. Carry victim. You must be stupid trusting that crazy Yes, bastard. I am. There's my horse. You just wait till I get loose, mister. I can put him on the back of the horse. Put victim on horse. Right, let's go. Just name your price. A hundred dollars. You got that? You don't have a hundred dollars. You don't even have one dollar. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Okay, we're heading back to young Seth. We'll split it between us, just me and you. I found him. Moses, you oh, son of a shit. bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth. Damn you, Seth. You've always been a twisting little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah, then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's ah. flesh. Ain't ah. never cut into a live ah. one before. <laughs> ah. odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. <laughs> I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Guy's psycho. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the most. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Okay. Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. Okay, accompany him to the telegraph office. Your bounty shown in the top right corner indicates you are a target of bounty. Pay off the bounty. Visit a telegraph. Hello. Go speak to that fellow. Let's get this okay. over with. Give letter. Here, I've been given a pardon. Master, I hope anytime you want to get on with this, it's fine with me. Okay. Done it. Mission complete, everybody. So, it's complete. Mister, thanks for your help. Do 
Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Okay. Another one bites the dust. But that was a great mission. Helping a crazy ass, stupid, crazy ass. No thanks, I got my horse right here. Let's go and see, let's go see Barney. I know it's a bit of a ride, but you know. Oh, Barney! The thing is, on the map, it looks like a really, really long distance that you have to ride, but actually when you, when it gets down to it, it's not really that far. It's quite interesting, you play for the story of this game, it takes you through so many parts of the game. Uh, and all you're trying to do really is just trying to get to Bill, but you need to do all these other, it's, it's incredible, like the build of the story to get you to the point where you just want to be. Um, but I, I, I just found it, I don't know, I've, I, I always found the game story mode so good, even with, I mean, even with GTA 5, I think I played the story mode on that maybe four times in total now. But it's just uh, a good story. Barney's over here. Right. A Tempest Loons. Hmm. I wonder what we have here. Come on, come on, let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on, come on! Amos! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Okay. Right. It's like we're gonna jump on our little trusty steed. Come on, Mr. Marston. Hurry! Yeah! Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, we brought them together. Of course. Where's the boot? We have to stop the stampede. Oh my god, they're running for the cliff. I'm doing it. I'm turning them around, woman. Come on, get in there, you fucking fuckers. Come on. 21 or 21. Come on, keep the herd together. 
Yes! Nailed it like a boss, everyone. Like an absolute demon. You saved the herd back demon? there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Can't hear you, the thunder and lightning's too loud. Okay. Cows already plus 21. 300. I'm getting to legendary. No, thank you. I have missions to do. The burning. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Giddy up! I've got a bad feeling oh. about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. Quick as you can! Stay... Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do, I'll that, do sir. that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up right now. Come on! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who God. it was. The barn's Oh, on my fire. God. Get to Come the on, barn. Boy. Look at the barn. The barn is on fire. in the barn door. Oh, someone put a stake in it. He got the door open! Be a dramatic jump out of the Ooh. crap. <laughs> Got it out. Let's get it. I did it. I'm the champion. I'm your hero, me. Nobody else, just me. You 
sure know how to handle yourself. No Thanks. problemo. Oh, you, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores uh, to attend. The fucking to. building's on fire, dude. Hold, hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. What about his paw? Sorry about What about the paw? That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough. Really? You saved my life. Exactly. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um. Well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bare enough. Okay, okay. She's got some fat ass thighs, dude. John's like, how did I end up here? Plus 75 on the fame. Right. Okay, let's go and see Seth. Let's see what crazy old fool got me into now. There he is. Great job, everybody. A gentle drive with friends. Oh my god. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. <laughs> what is this crazy need? person really doing, man? Not quite. Not quite ready. This guy's insane. Yeah. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized. You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. Issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you. <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay. Sister. <laughs> I don't like women, partner. I don't. This guy's fucking weird, man. Every game's got one. Everyone's got a weird one. Seth, and here's the weird one in this game. What are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the best okay. idea. Where are we going? All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Okay. They're coming after us. Get us out of here. We don't see them bodies first. Give them up, you sleeping This won't go. Wow. The wagon was trashed. Oh 
my god! What the fuck is he? Where is he? Looks like the church is in tumbleweed! That's where I was headed! It's finished! Keep ah. going! We're almost there! Oh my... Will you be my friend? We're sitting ducks! Let's go! Work them horses! Move them horses, damn it! Come on, let's get hey, this way! Hey, turn around! Oh my god, this fucking sat nav is rubbish. We made it! We friggin' made it! I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich! When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister! Hunting for treasure. Right. Let's see, what have we got left? Oh, Seth again. Let the dead bury their dead. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, talk to the dead people. Silent treatment. Crazy. Oh, whoa, Crazy whoa. guy. That's quite a statement. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh... See you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Okay, go to the mansion. They looked, I figured they must be with you. Think you can just walk in here? Mansion. You gotta go now. It's our last chance. Run away, and maybe I won't kill you. Here we go. Come on, Seth. Stay close. Oh, for fuck's sake, John. Don't let him 
get my treasure, mister! Okay, where are they? Think you can just walk in here? Don't leave any alive! Whoa, whoa. What are you gonna do? Oh. I'll beg you all down! Come on, please! I can't take them by myself! You can't kill us all! Who asked you? See what you've done? You call me me on the zipper! Who else? Right, all of that for this one box. <laughs> Finally, I see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> it's just gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's it's see what's inside this box. Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> Got his pocket knife. And he starts a fire. What's inside? God damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid liars. <laughs> the stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another <laughs> excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Oh, my. That's unlucky. Unfortunate. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer. When you gentlemen... Okay, is okay. Ready. That's one part mission complete. Perfect. Right. Let's see, what do you have for me? Excuse right, me. anyway, that's uh, where we're going to end it today. Thank you very much for joining us. As, oh, as always, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, it's been it's been good. It's been interesting. Uh, we've got so far in the game. I don't know how far in the game we are, but we're getting there. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for joining us over at Twitch.tv. Big shout out uh, to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget, if you're brand new to the stream, be sure to leave a like on the video. And don't forget to uh, follow us over at Twitch, sorry. Uh, so you guys don't miss more epic streams just like this. Don't forget, we are going to be playing Red Dead Redemption every single day leading up to the 26th of October for the release of Red Dead 2, people. So be sure to join me every single day as we play through and hopefully get the story mode done on Red Dead Redemption because I really, really hope I can get it done before Friday. Uh, before we go, obviously a big shout-out goes out to the sponsors because without them, this would not be possible. Big shout out goes out to Cinch Gaming, City Keys, and not forgetting those infamous people over at Razor.com. Uh, also, not forgetting, if you guys want to sponsor the channel, be sure to check out the T4 Army merch. That's right. If you guys want to grab yourself something awesome from the merchandise store, be sure to head over there right now. Uh, also, not forgetting gtoy.com over at Twitch.tv. Keeping it lit, keeping it live with the AAA titles on the cheap. Uh, and not forgetting, if you want another way to be out of sponsor, why not donate? That's right, G4G and Streamlabs, everybody. Links in the description, as always. Uh, but that's pretty much it. If you're watching us on YouTube, thank you very much for watching us. We'll be back, uh, hopefully soon, with more live streams on YouTube. But for the time being, we can't. So if you want to watch us live when we play the game, head over to Twitch.tv and follow us over there and watch us every single day. I will see you guys on tomorrow's live stream for more Red Dead Redemption on the PS3. But until then, guys, as always, stay safe, stay awesome. And peace.